it's Melanie and today I am happy to be presenting this video on how to make a small patchwork doll quilt or baby quilt with favequilts.com. That's F-A-V-E-Q-U-I-L-T-S dot com. Um, We're going to use a charm pack so you don't have to worry about any of the cutting. I'm going to show you how to use a quarter inch seam allowance, how to nest your seams together so that your corners are perfect, and also how to chain piece. First thing you want to do is lay out all of your squares, get it all arranged exactly how you want it, and then take a picture so that you will remember exactly how it looks. Place your quilt blocks the right sides together, down your first two columns on the left hand side, and then begin to stack up your pairs of charm pack pieces into a stack with the top two pieces being the top of the quilt. And continue on with the rest of your quilt top so that you have everything nice and organized and you know where all of the pieces are supposed to go as you're sewing them through the machine. So when you have your three stacks of fabric, just I have laid mine out up above my machine here, and you're gonna take your first stack and grab your first two pieces and put them right sides together. Get them all nice and lined up. And then you're gonna sew one quarter of an inch from the edge. Okay, so I have on my machine a quarter inch quilting foot. And if you're gonna be doing any amount of quilting, I would recommend that you get one of those. Um, and then we're gonna chain piece these together. So don't pull this piece off and cut your threads. Just leave it attached. Then you're gonna grab your next set of squares. You're gonna put it down here and then just continue sewing along this one. yourself a few stitches, lift up your foot, and then grab your next two squares and keep going. You're going to go all the way down the rest of that column of squares. Okay, so this is my last piece. You can take it off, cut your thread, and then you're going to have this nice long piece. So then you can just cut them off and you can then begin to sew each row. Okay, so here are the top two rows of my quilt. Here's the top one and then the second one. And what you wanna do to get your seams ready for nesting your seams together and getting those corners perfect is you want to iron your seams one direction for this first row and then the opposite direction for this second row. So you would take your iron and iron all these seams this direction and then with this second row then in the opposite direction. And then what you'll do is you'll put them right sides together and you will lock your seams together. I'll show you this up close too. And then this is how you'll send it through the sewing machine. So this is my first two rows for the quilt. You're gonna place the right sides together and then you're gonna kinda use your fingers and lock your seam in here. And then you're gonna send it through the machine. You can pin if you want to. I am just going to kind of hold it in place and then keep it pressed together as I send it through the machine. See how this seam is ironed this direction and this seam is ironed the opposite direction. So you're gonna use your fingers and rub them together and lock it into place. You'll feel it kind of lock into place and then you'll just press down and keep that nice and secure as you send it to the machine. If you wanna use a pin, you can, but I find that you can just use your fingers. Then you want to continue down, finish this row, and then stitch together your remaining rows for your quilts. Okay, so once all of your rows are sewn together, press all your seams really good on the back, and you have got this beautiful little baby-sized patchwork quilt top. I think the colors in this one are really pretty, and. Um, you know, it was done with the charm pack, so you didn't have to worry about any of the cutting. This worked up really fast. Um, 
Remember we worked on the quarter inch seam allowance, on nesting your seams together, locking them together as you send it through the machine to get those corners to match up perfectly, and also chain piecing. So I hope you guys had fun with this video. Um, head on over to favequilts.com, F-A-V-E, um, quilts.com, and there's tons more quilting inspiration on that website. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.